The management of kidney stones continues to be a process in evolution. There is a great deal of literature being released as of late that helps us refine both the management and treatment options for kidney stone patients. Medical expulsive therapy is a treatment option for patients who present with stones uh, somewhere within their urine or usually presenting to an emergency department where they can be treated with a medical treatment, usually an alpha blocker, uh, that facilitates the passage of the stone. We've been using that uh, technique for a number of years now. Recently, a group out of England published in The Lancet a very large randomized controlled study looking at medical expulsive therapy in patients in England. And basically what they found was that they, there was no difference between those patients that received placebo versus an alpha blocker. This study raised a few questions. Number one, this was a technique or a tool that we've been using for a number of years and there's a great body of literature that supports its use both in physiology and in small series and meta-analysis. Uh, the other concern with the study is their endpoints were all patient reported outcomes. So there wasn't actual imaging done to prove patients had either passed their stone or still had them. Typically when a patient presents the emergency department with colic, they at this point receive a CT scan. With recent concerns with radiation exposure, a few studies and this one in, and a study in particular uh, was just released which looked at ultrasounds for the diagnosis of kidney stones. In these particular patients, the outcome showed that there was no change in not stone presentation, but there was no change in uh, risk to the patient in the long term. Um, some emergency departments now are modifying their practice and using ultrasound for this. Unfortunately, it's missing the boat a little bit. There are some patients that pre present without hydronephrosis yet still have a ureteral stone, and ultrasound will miss those. So there are some concerns with that study, even though there's now been some change in practices not to use CAT scans. Kidney stone disease, still a very common disease for our patients, is something we still struggle with at times because there are some things yet to learn. So looking at the literature critically, uh, how they're published, what they say, these are all things that we need to be ever vigilant for so that we can provide the best care for our patients long term.